Hello everyone, welcome back to Edumon Tutorials. This is our second lecture on DLD Unit 1 Binary Systems. Myself Sohana Dhamathoti and let's get started. As you have seen the agenda in the previous video, we have already covered digital systems, binary numbers. In this particular video, we will be covering number based conversion as well as octal and hexadecimal numbers. Okay, coming to number based conversions. I broadly categorize number based conversions into only two forms which is DOA and AOD. Now what is actually DOA and AOD stands for? DOA stands for decimal to any other system and AOD stands for any other to decimal. Now what is actually any other in this notations any other can come into binary octal or hexadecimal this is the simplest notation you can keep in your mind for doing any of the problems with only these two you'll be solving all the problems with ease now what should we do for doa and aod for doa you will be doing division in aod we will be doing anti division which is multiplication You will really be getting to know what these actually are used for when we start solving the problems. I want you to really remember what is DOA in AOD. Well, DOA stands for division. The starting one D stands for division. In AOD, A stands for anti-division. Please just start, uh, try remembering these two values for all the problems. Now coming back to conversions. What are the broad categories of these conversions? It can be summed up as octal to binary and vice versa like binary to octal hexadecimal to binary or binary to hexadecimal, octal to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octal. Fine, let's get into the examples so you will be having a very clear idea. Now, convert, try converting 24 in the decimal form into any of the forms like binary or octal or hexadecimal. See, what I have told you, decimal to any other systems. So, decimal to any other, which is division. With what you will be dividing it? with their basis. For example, in binary, you will be dividing it with 2. For octal, you will be dividing with 8. For hexadecimal, you will be dividing it with 16. Now, 24 by 2, like the regular process, we will be doing like 2, 12. So, the remainder here is 0. And for this one, again with 2, 6, 0. Again 2, here 3, 0. Again 2, we gonna get 1 with remainder 1. Now you need to traverse in the downward to upward direction which is equals to 1 triple 0 in case of binary. In the same way with 8 what you will be doing with 8 if you want to convert decimal to the octal system you need to again divide it with 24 like with 8. 3 is and the remainder is 0. So in this case the 24 decimal notation can be written as 3 zero. again you will be going in the downward to upward direction which is 30 into 8 like this is the 30 is the octal notation for 24 in the decimal now again with 16 coming to 16 it is 24 right uh, it will be 1 with the remainder 8 again going in the upper direction it is the representation of 16 in this this form so as you're clear with this example let's get into the other one in the previous video I already told you whenever you want to take the notations for this one for everything beyond that you will be taking into the negative powers right so for conversion also there is the other trick for doing it so just like 24 we have the same like uh, in the case of binary we have the usual one triple zero dot now we need to get to know what is the dot behind the values behind the dot like for 25 no, point 0.25 what you want to do instead of doing multiplication a division you will be doing multiplication like how 0 0.25 into 2 what you'll be getting it it as 0 0.5 now try considering only the integer part which is 0 fine Again, this 0 0.5 should be multiplied back with 2, which is 1.0. Again, take only the integer part, which is 1. And again, one point, uh, the ones left after the decimal, 0 0.0 into 2 equals to 0 0.0, which is 0. And for this one, you need to be covering in the upward to downward direction. So the decimal points can be taken as 0, 1, 0 in this binary form. I hope it's a little tricky but again I want to explain you this particular problem. Whenever you want to convert the values after decimal into some other decimal into some other format, what you will be doing is you need to multiply instead of dividing it. Like 0 0.25 into 2 equals to 0 0.5. 
the integer part is taken in the ones that are left aside behind the dot which is 0 0.5 again so 0 0.5 into 2 equals to 1.0 again take the integer part the ones after the left of the decimal is 0 so 0 0.0 into 2 again gives you 0 you can keep on going you will be getting all the time 0 0 0 so you can stop it there itself so the value for 24.25 in decimal format is equals to 1000.010 in binary format in simpler one i want to tell you digits after the decimal point are multiplied with respect to the required base see in the same way again if you want to find the octal notation for this one in the 30 for the decimal part will be the same now for the ones after the decimal point like 0 0.25 instead of 2 you will be multiplying it with 8 for all the things for even the hexadecimal notation you will be multiplying it with 16 try solving for the decimal uh, conversions into this octal in as well as hexadecimal i really want you to try this 23.9 into all of them just try doing it yourself and you'll be having a greater idea now let's try solving this problem 275.4 in decimal to be converted into the ones into the octal now we can say decimal to any other we will be doing division i hope it's clear and easy to understand that so just start dividing it with 275 only the integer part not the decimal point okay so 275 when divided it will be getting 34 and a reminder of 3 and again if it is 1 with 8 uh, you will be getting 4 and 2 start going upwards you will be getting 423 point something we need to find that something now okay as i have already mentioned digits after the decimal point are multiplied with respect to the required base now what that actually means now 0 0.4 into 8 equals to 3.2 get only the integer part which is 3 now again the ones af left after the decimal are 0 0.2 0 0.2 into 8 equals to 1.6 take only the integer 1 now again after the ones left after the decimal is 0 0.6 into 8 equals to 4.8 again consider only 4 and you can keep on going it but uh, maximum three decimal points are enough for any problem if you want to solve so again from going from the upward to the downward direction remember when you're gonna multi divide you'll be going from the downward direction when you multiply you'll be coming from upward to the downward direction don't get confused between both of them or else your answer will be completely wrong so the one values are three one four you can just drop it in here that's it the answer for this one is 423.314 into 8